Hi, my name is Chris Justice, and today we're going to repair the gimbal on a Phantom 3 Professional. So hey guys, it's Jason from Ready Set Drone. I'm here with Chris, who's a, a professional uh, a drone crash pilot. And uh, first of all, tell, tell us what happened. I think the story's pretty fun here. All right. Well, first and foremost, uh, this is not my first crash, but this is my first crash with damage. Uh, so I was shooting uh, a video for a real estate professional uh, for free, uh, just to give him some shots of a new property he has coming up in South Austin. Uh, and unfortunately, before I accepted this uh, great honor, uh, I didn't scope the location. And there were six, if not seven, power lines all crossing one another. Nice. Now, when I first started up the DJI, I started getting all these compass errors. And I was like, what's a compass error? <laughs> and so I did the typical DJI dance. Um, and unfortunately, the compass, er compass errors did not go away. So I said, I'm going to fly in. Anyway. Through caution of the wind. Yeah, through caution of the wind. And the drone. Flew anyway, and I got some great shots. We went up, we went back, we went into the house, and so it was great. Then I decided to adjust and go into full manual mode and uh, get some better shots, you know, some richer, deeper colors and so forth. Unfortunately, um, very hot day and more compass errors, and I glanced down just for a moment to get some bearings on the camera, and guess what happened? The compass error hit the power line, spark, and then we crashed to the ground. The whole now, neighborhood went down, huh? Yeah, exactly. Fortunately, I had a gimbal protector, which did not protect the gimbal. This is a carbon fiber gimbal protector. Um, it did not protect the gimbal. It still broke. Um, and so right now, it's dangling by the ribbon cable. Um, so we're going to take a different shot with this one. Don't dangle that. <laughs> um, so we have a full professional kit that we purchased off of eBay. And it comes with a ribbon cable. comes with all of the various parts that you would need. But we put... Uh, particularly ordered too much just so we have enough to repair this. So today we're going to take it down and try to repair it in a short order and Jason's my backup. So uh, he's given this honor to me and unfortunately now we're going to tear this sucker down. So the great thing is um, we actually powered up the drone and everything is working okay. So we're getting uh, electronic signal, we're getting transmission and we can't find any internal errors. Uh, so that's great. So we're just going to try to replace the broken element of the gimbal. Um, and if you can see here, this is where the gimbal is actually broken off. So it's just the arm. So it's just the arm. So we're going to try to flip this guy over and start with the repair. Uh, I am no expert. And so much like you, I had the choice of sending this to a repair shop. But it turns out that a lot of repair shops here in Austin are actually full. They do not have any more room for any more crazy pilots like myself. <laughs> Um, they've got too many repairs. So, Jason, I think we have to pull these guys off, and I've got to figure out exactly what we do here to pop these little caps off. There we go. Good. Okay, yeah. So, kind of explain how you how you figure what you ended up doing. So, fortunately, the these uh, little caps are replaceable, and there's a few more of them I've got. Um, so but I had to bend back. Snap-ons here, they just snap together. Yeah, I just had to bend them back a little bit so I can get through them. Again, this is uh, one of the things I really appreciate about some of the new design of DJI. They've uh, actually made the repair process a bit easier. Uh, but that's what happens when you produce millions of drones. Alright, so we've got the first piece done. The next we need to do... Oops. If we keep mucking with that, we're going to actually have to replace a ribbon cable. And uh, tell everybody what kind of screw. Are those just Phillips? or? Yeah, ports? these are just... Uh, the screws on this DJI to, to pull off this motherboard, or this uh, board here, is all just a Phillips screwdriver. Very small. Um, so we're going to just pull this off. Very easy. Now when we open this first top up, there is obviously some additional ribbon cables that we have to be careful of. So we're going to be very gentle with that. And notice that I have not taken apart any other pieces of the gimbal. So we're just going to take this one step at a time. And this is really kind of anti to some of the other instructions I saw online. But <clears throat> we're just trying to make this a fast repair. So I this the first thing is gonna get this ribbon cable out of there. And that actually could disconnect. <coughs> Probably pretty easy. I think that's just plugs in. Yep. So there's a release. 
piece. The other thing you could try is the tiny little flathead to just pry it. Yeah. So, Jason, hold this, uh, if you could hold that gimbal for me so I don't flop that around again. So you don't make it even worse than you already did? Yeah, exactly, so don't make it worse. So the great thing is now we have detached this. We'll put this aside for now. So I think it's good to note that we are not replacing this ribbon cable. Yep. So the gimbal connects via two little standard plug-in connectors here, which are a lot easier to remove. The ribbon cable itself that goes to the gimbal motor seems to be okay, so we're not replacing it. These are, these are tricky to do. There's these little releases, and then when you put them back in, you have to make sure it's exactly right, and it's closed and secured. <clears throat> we're not going to do that because I don't think we need to replace it. No, I think we're okay. All right, so we've got our little gimbal arm here. So now we've got to go to the next level here. So the next level is this particular element. Um, so we've got to, I believe, pull this guy out, and this is going to go inside of that. So the best thing to do here um, is probably take this off here. And I think I remember in one of the videos, in order to get this baby out, um, we have to actually how do, we do that piece there. Is there an Allen screw holding that on to yeah. the spindle? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it felt like there was something more, a little bit more firm holding it together. <clears throat> Just from the spindle. What we'll try to do is actually just lift this baby up. And then we'll just put this baby straight back down, same location. Okay, so we were able to separate the two plates without having to remove any cables. And then we slid this guy over and lifted out the old arm. <coughs> it's connected with an Allen, a uh, little Allen screw right there. Yep. To hold it onto the uh, <coughs> center post there. Now the question is, there's really no, there's no. <laughs> Did you get it the right way? There's no markings um, that give you any indication of the direction, so just kind of just set it in the same location, yeah. which I think is a big mistake. Um, but um, you know what? We're going to proceed anyway. Um, so this is our little cap, and again, no markings, so no idea to really figure out where it's supposed to go next. with any luck. Just like new. Just like new. Now, if we're lucky, then the software will detect the gimbal location and do the calibration so that we don't have to worry about the exact arm location. But I am going to just double check and make sure that that gimbal arm is tight. Yeah, but not too tight. Alright, so without removing the ribbon cable, we're one step farther than we were. Um, so now we actually have to uh, remove the gimbal and uh, reattach this arm. So let's get to that. This is our damaged gimbal. And I'm guessing that just take this plate off. <clears throat> and it's great to have somebody to overlook what you're doing. Um, especially being as a novice as I am. Maybe you need that same person while you're flying. You know, it would be, be very handy to have that person while I was flying. Somebody to watch the aircraft. Um, but, you know, the gimbal air, uh, so the, the, um, the compass air was a real surprise uh, because I'm in an area with high interference and never experienced a, a compass air before. Um, I feel like we need to take them to one of those giant wind farms with the turbines and just yep. see what happens. Yeah, it'd be pretty great. Well, there's a guy on YouTube now that I really respect. He actually takes his blower and he blows um, these various drones that he's testing. Um, it's very, very, very kind of cool to test their stability. Now, here's the thing is that we have to mount this guy in there. It looks like there's some other pieces we've got to take off. 
Oh yeah, this whole this you're gonna have to <coughs> this whole bracket take these here. guys out. Those four. So those four Allen rooms, because that whole thing has to be replaced. Yep. Oops, that is part of this guy, right? Uh, I'm guessing it is. Or no, no this guy. Uh, yes, I don't know if we, do we have to replace that too? I don't think so. Um, the question is, how does one pull this thing out? Oh, there's a, hang on. There's the ribbon cable. There's a ribbon cable overlap there. That kind of comes off there. But then there's another motor there. So it looks like they have to take, um, So there's that piece there, and then and so I'm going to just... Wait, this guy's broken, right? This whole piece? Uh, that whole piece is broken. So where is the new piece for that? Um, should be right here. That's... Um, is that not... I'm not seeing a piece that looks like that. It's like building Legos. I need a 4 by one blue. Well, this is the piece that broke, see? That goes in there. Oh! Never mind, never mind. Okay. Doi. Yeah, so this... You need to take these four, these three screws out because mm -hmm. that but, whole thing's going to come off. But the but that guy's in your way. Are you so going to have to I'm, detach it? I'm going to have to detach it. And you have to slide this one out. So I did not read the instructions yeah. on this. Oh, wait, hold on. Don't yank in the ribbon cable. There's a, a release for these things. Oh, uh, yeah, you pop it up? Yeah. And would it be funny if I ordered the wrong part? I say we make it work anyway. Yeah, I think so. We just got any duct tape. <laughs> All right, so this is now coming off, and there's a little sticky tape, so we just have to pull it very, very gently. We're gonna have to actually thread it through. So now we got the bad part off. So now we're gonna actually just bring it through again. Now this is the tough one, because we have to make sure that this sucker matches and goes right through again. So there's the, the part that we're gonna bring through. All right, so that's one step of the of the way. Good. You need a tiny pair of tweezers or pliers. Yeah. You gotta get a fork out of the kitchen. You just shove just it in there. Shove it in there. Yeah. Oh, never mind. You got it. All right. So mm -hmm. it looks like I've got. You got it, Kelly. We're good. It looks like it's on its way. So I'm going to actually go ahead and replace these screws. Very important that you actually have a screwdriver with magnetic tips because this is not for the faint of heart. Um, thank you, sir. Now, I did have the choice of taking this to a repair shop or mailing it in and that sort of thing. Yeah, who does that, though? Well, you know... Um, That's crazy talk. Sometimes I wish I did. it just come back magically fixed. But that's also why I have two drones. Um, and so for those uh, <coughs> viewers, you know, I always have a drone and a backup drone. It's a little bit overkill, of course, but um, I've got a Phantom Standard that my wife got me for Christmas, which I really liked, but then I decided to upgrade because of all the great features in the professional. Then I realized that, you know, hey, did I really need to upgrade? Maybe not. So how much did they quote you for the repair, and then how much was the kit on eBay? Uh, the kit on eBay was 50 bucks, but as I said, I got the deluxe kit because it gave you everything. Um, but uh, the quote for repair was like $175, hmm. and it's almost worth you know having it done just because of the challenge behind it. But at the same time, you know, if you're going to have a drone, you might as well learn to repair it. I feel like if you fly it in power lines, like you have to go through this, right? As, yeah, as it's, a penance. It's like a it's like a rite of passage, especially when you see compass air, compass air, compass air, compass air. <laughs> Don't fly. Don't fly. Yeah. Ah, screw Warning. it. Just do it anyway. <laughs> All right. So what do we have going now? So we are replacing the ribbon cable here and putting it back into the slot and the ribbon. So it, or it, in the board. In the board, so it's flush. There's a little uh, guideline there, right? To make now sure you didn't have to remove the ribbon cable from the board, right? No, you did left not remove that. Okay. You're just making sure it's not going to catch or anything. Now the challenge, of course, is if I pulled too hard on that ribbon cable and it came loose, then we're yeah. going to take the whole thing. Ah, uh, we'll find out. Yeah. Uh, the great thing is we're not too many screws away from figuring that out, um, but everything looks to be like it's on target. Okay. So now we're going to reconnect the ribbon cable to this guy. Correct. Right? We've got two of them. Now. Um, 
I believe we're going to have yeah. to go in this way. Yep. Now again with these ribbon cables, we have yep. to pop them up. <clears throat> yep, and then they, they are sometimes very, very hard to get back in. Yeah, because they're so Depending small. Depending on the angle, you just kind of have to put it in there. You have to close the little latch in the back and kind of cross your fingers that all the contacts are in the right place. Well, I think I've popped it closed. Tug on it a little bit, see if it's... Uh... Yeah, it's, it's locked. Okay. So let's try this one. This one's a bit easier on this side. Yeah. It's good to know two things you might want if you are going to replace a ribbon cable, which we don't have here. A little pair of pliers. You can often get these in these kits. Uh, they come with the tiny screwdrivers because sometimes trying to hold that ribbon cable is really, really tough to do with your fingers. Uh, and also, <clears throat> you can get the, uh, they're often used with soldering, uh, little magnifying glasses that, that go on a clamp. Yeah, that'd be great. You can have those are invaluable because, uh, man, some of this stuff is really, really hard to see sometimes. Yeah. So if you're going to be tinkering with electronics at all or doing this kind of work, those are two cheap things that would be very, very helpful. But we don't have them, so we're just going to cross our fingers. Now it's funny because uh, in trying to put this thing back on, the um, the location of this gimbal and the way it's set up and the way that it needs to be positioned is uh, a little bit funky. So so I'm just going to try to emulate what this should be and what it should look like so that I can try to get this motor back on. So there's a it has to pass through. I'm guessing. So I've got two of them on, but the big blocker here is getting this guy turned in such a way this pops back on. Oh, is it? Is there a shape to it that it only fits one way? I think so, yeah. Well, it doesn't look like there's a shape. I mean, it looks like it's supposed to just float in there, but, but I do see a bit of a shape. So I'm just not certain if... Um, Oh yeah, there is. There's a flat piece, flat piece to it. Yeah, the top of it is. Flat. See if you can try. Let's see here. Yeah, the top of it's flat. And see the bottom here is flat. Mm -hmm. So it does have to go. Could it have been put on backwards? <laughs> so that I turned the gimbal too far. Um, I think we may have a dilemma here because uh, we cannot. <clears throat> you actually cannot, I don't think you can rotate it in the direction it needs to go without, see it needs to go, it needs to keep going, mm -hmm. and I don't think it's backwards, I think that uh, when we put this back on, mm -hmm. which is of course now what's blocking it, yep. um, Cause see, it needs that. This only goes on one way. Yep. And the flat piece is like angled like that. Mm -hmm. But in order to get it there, this needs to rotate almost all the way around. All right. <clears throat> and I don't think. Um, well, let's take that off again. I don't think we're able to, unless I'm missing some sort of Rubik's cube. It's okay. We'll pop the. Actually, wait. Hold on. I don't know if that's even true or not. No, because the the Rubik's cable doesn't go that far. Yeah. So we got something funky going on. I, I think it only goes on one way. I don't think we're missing anything there. Nope. But uh, it looks completely round, though. Oh no, it's not. There's oh, there's a see it, see it right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see it on top. And then, but the flat piece here is on the bottom. See it? Is that turned? Oh, know. the flat's on the bottom. Yep, that's what I'm saying. So. So you think that I, in the process of this, turned it around improperly? I don't see how this could go any, any farther other way. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually take it apart, take the ribbon cables off again, um, just so we... Just fast forward through all that part. Yeah. Well, I mean, the mistakes are, are part of this. I mean, <coughs> look, if you're going to, again, repair a drone, um, you know, the, the guys that do repair drones, I have a, a huge amount of respect for you, and they're probably going to be watching this video going, no! The comments are going to be great. Exactly. You guys that's, are idiots, LOL, 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 LOL. <laughs> But that's okay too, because you know what? It, this it, we are we are in a very very new market um, for drones, and we're all learning together. And you know, it's it's funny. I've actually started a little DJI video. Um, so this year only, this year only, I have started with a Phantom Two, had a Phantom Three, and uh, played with a Phantom Four, and now bought a Mavic. 
So that's in one year of this cycle. I've played with four different types of drones. So, you know, it's, the market's changing so fast and it's very, very challenging to keep up. All right, so just a quick note. Uh, it's important when you're placing this, the spindle here has a flat side and this particular board right here also has a flat side. So it's important to make sure <clears throat> that uh, the whole camera gimbal is facing the right direction. The easiest way is it says 4K on the side, so you make sure that that's not upside down, ah! and uh, everything will be facing the right direction. So we had to pull it off and literally just turn the whole camera around, but I think we got it now. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I took a look at my uh, Phantom uh, standard just to... And it turns out in the U.S., letters go the right way instead of upside down, unlike the southern continents, right? Exactly. The toilet's flushing the opposite direction. And the drones, the propellers go in the opposite right. directions. Physics, which is topsy-turvy. Yeah. We've managed to get the gimbal back on. Looks like everything Works is Works a lot better when it's uh, facing the right direction. Yeah, exactly. So I think that's the, the biggest uh, takeaway from this, is that since this is a gimbal, it moves in multiple axes. You really have to, to pay special attention to how everything comes together, everything comes apart. Um, and one small screw mistake or turn or whatever, um, and you have, actually have to re -dis uh, disassemble everything. You know, another good tip like when I've done stuff like this in the past is take pictures with your phone along the way, right? right. Before you start, after every piece you remove, take a picture. It, it's helped me a couple times where I just sort of jumped into something and I didn't read the instructions or find out how to do it. I was like, yeah, I can figure this out. Uh, it helps a lot because you get through it and then you're like, I have no idea which way this thing went yeah. on. And you have to start over. So, but it looks like it was a relatively simple fix. Yeah, and um, there are four additional screws here, that obviously, to, to cap that off. Um, it looks like it's it's held on <coughs> properly and that sort of thing. Well, let's put um, it together and Let's put these four screws in and see what happens. It's supposed to come down, and there's something here that's not coming down. There we go. So it just had to be aligned properly. All right. It's better than it was. Take five. All right. Take a deep breath. For those of you uh, in our studio audience, um, I am a little nervous. Um, thank you, everyone. We need a laugh track. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so as we get prepared to test this, I think it's important to, to go into... Uh, a disclosure statement. Yes, we barely uh, reviewed the videos that are available online. Um, What's this we stuff? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you reviewed nothing. Um, I reviewed the videos just ever so graciously. We did not replace the ribbon and cable, even though it was recommended to do so. Uh, we are quick <coughs> focusing on a quick repair here just to get this baby flying again. Um, and now it looks like we have everything assembled. And it's time to remount it to the drone. All right. So, direction matters. <laughs> so let's try to work on that first. So it looks like we've got ribbon cable here. We've got ribbon cable to the back. So we'll just start very, very slowly and get these ribbon cables on first. Now this is the challenge. I think it's better if we do this from the side. One, all right. With any luck, we can pop these guys back in. So now we have again the broken gimbal. Um, and the big reveal. <gasps> so we think it's working, but we're not certain. Um, we put it together one time and it was facing the wrong direction. Yep. <clears throat> that turns out that's a, a, a locking nut that we actually had to uh, open with an Allen wrench yep. and actually point it a different way so that it was centered in the middle. So now we have our handy dandy controller, which we'll start up first, and then we'll power up the drone and see what happens. So no smoke. All right. That's Looking a good like sign. Pretty limbo. Aircraft is warming up. Um, and it's twitching. It's twitching. Hey, we have signal. Look at that. Fantastic. 
Uh, we are good. We have got a good uh, signal from the aircraft. Can it's you uh, do the pan or uh, yeah? Tilting? I think try I will. Uh, try the tilt. Let's try that. Looks good. Yeah, it's great. There Fully responsive. So when the aircraft finishes, we're warming up. We'll just give it a little start to make sure all the motors are working. That means. <laughs> That I think we've assembled. It's ready to fly into another power line. Yeah, exactly. So again, um, compass error is bad, um, um, and gimbal guard is uh, recommended, uh, not necessarily required for all of you uh, pilots out there. But you can see that this gimbal guard did help out. It did shatter upon impact, but it did land in the grass, Jason. Hmm. So that's what was I, I found kind of funny about it when it popped. It, it you know, I guess a power line. It starts to tumble, you know, it's a cascade failure of things. That's right. Um, looks like we are ready to go. Hey, look at that. All right. Now we have professionally repaired a professional Phantom 3 with a new gimbal. Okay, Chris, so I think we learned a couple of things here. I, I think obviously the biggest one, like we mentioned, <clears throat> is paying attention to how you disassemble these yeah. things, right? Because I think most of our mistakes were uh, assembling, it, assembling it slightly wrong, right? There were a few alignment errors and that sort of thing. So what, what are all the things that we ran into that uh, could have been avoided? Yeah, of course. I think the biggest thing is the fear is gone. Um, I was scared <laughs> of doing this, um, and I did not feel comfortable doing it by myself. Um, first, there are a lot of screws. Um, second, the plates all have to fit together and mesh together mm -hmm. perfectly. Um, and then third, uh, this gimbal is aligned in a proper way so that um, not only does it go up and down, but it goes left and right. Mm -hmm. So if any sort of assembly is done improperly, like for example, there's this little uh, arm that's done in there, you have to not only align that arm properly, but also have make sure that it's at the right height because right. you can now see the scratches at the bottom of this. Mm -hmm. I dis uh, mis uh, misaligned this gimbal; it's right. actually down too tight, and so the gimbal wouldn't move properly. Right. So it has to float properly. Yeah. Um, so alignment. There was an alignment thing here too. Yeah, there's the, alignment here too. The, uh, the center, the spindles had a specific way they have to be put mm -hmm. on. So again, it's mostly about paying attention. And having the right tools, right? The uh, uh, ribbon cables are yeah. hard to work with. Having a good set of tools, tweezers, magnifying glass. Yeah, and you really have to take it very, very slow. I mean, we did this repair um, in about an hour or so, but uh, you know, you have to just take it slow. And and I think for me, as a as a very amateur pilot, um, one who is very skilled at crashing, yeah. um, this is my first drone repair. So um, honestly, it was very intimidating. And you know, 150 bucks to send it to DJI, so I don't have to worry about it, is one way to do it. But you know, this is really a six dollar part that you can pick up anywhere. So we saved 150 dollars with this repair. Uh, but it's not to be, you know, if you have uh, very shaky hands, this is not your job. Uh, don't, don't take it on. But, uh, you know, ask a friend. I think that's the, the, the thing, too, is that, you know, Jason helped me save myself from some mistakes. Um, but it's a very intricate process that you just have to be patient with. Yep. Awesome. Well, let's go try it out.